Bifocals are generally worn by those who are of presbyopic age or post-operatively following cataract surgery if a multifocal lens implant has not been used. The addition, or add for short, is always a plus sphere on top of the distance power of the lens. It is positioned in the lower part of the lens, usually toward the nose. It provides increased dioptric power for near object viewing in cases where the eye cannot do this for itself. The location of the ad is placed in this lower part of the lens as we generally look down when we read and therefore through that part of the lens. Let's first look at measuring ads on spherical lenses. The strength of the ad is only measured once the distance segment has been recorded. To begin, carefully use the lens table lever to move the lens table upwards so that the ad can be seen through the eyepiece. The ad will usually appear as a second blurred corona positioned below that for the distance segment of the lens. You will notice that this second green corona is now decentered. Ads will always appear decentered as optically they are not centered on the lens. This is acceptable. You will also notice that the lower corona is blurred. This is because the ad or lower segment of the bifocal lens is out of focus compared with the upper distance segment which has just been measured. To determine the ad strength, rotate the measuring wheel until the lower corona is in focus. For lenses with a sphere, the lens strength of the ad is the difference between the distance power and your current diopter scale value. The ad in this example is therefore plus 3 diopter sphere. It is not unusual for patients to have anisometropia, so never assume that the distance segment power is the same in each eye. Now we will measure the left eye ad strength. However, in this example, the left eye lens contains a cylinder and will require a slightly different approach. Having measured the distance segment, move the lens table upwards so that you are looking through the reading ad. The ad will appear as though it is a cylinder, but do not forget that it is a plus sphere on top of the distance segment. In order to determine an accurate ad strength, we will begin by taking the reading from the second focus. Note the value on the diopter scale. Now rotate the diopter power wheel and stop once the lower green corona is in focus. Notice that the measuring wheel has been rotated in the plus direction. For lenses with a cylinder, the ad strength is calculated as the difference between the power of the second focus in the distance segment from where we started the measurement and the current diopter scale value. The ad is therefore plus three diopters. Usually the lens strength of the ad is the same for both lenses, but not in all cases. Regardless of the type of lens, if the strength of the ad is different for each eye lens, it needs to be recorded next to each lens prescription. If the strength is the same for both lenses, it can be recorded below the distance prescription. Remember that spheres do not have an axis so this is not recorded. In summary, it is important to note that the ad is always a plus sphere on top of the distance prescription. The ad is never recorded with an axis position as spheres do not have an axis. The distance segment will enable clear distance vision and the ad will assist with near vision. 
If there is a cylinder present in the distant segment, the ad will not appear as a ring of concentric dots on the reticule.